In this video, we will learn how to fetch historical data for the given securities from the interactive brokers server. Fetching historical data. Let us now see how to fetch historical data using iBridgePy from interactive brokers server. iBridgePy contains the data.history and the request historical data methods for this purpose. Let us see how to use each of these methods. The data.history method returns historical data from interactive brokers. This data is adjusted for splits, but not dividends. The syntax of the data.history method is shown here. The security argument signifies the security object, created by either using the symbol, symbols or the super symbols functions. The fields argument can take values like the price, open, high, low, close and volume. Bar count indicates the number of bars for which we need to pull the historical data. Frequency can be minute data or daily data. Let us see how to pull the historical data for a single security and a single field. In this case, the method will return a Python series indexed by date. In this example, we have used multiple securities and pass a single field. The method returns a data frame which is indexed by date, and has securities as columns. In this example, we pass a single security and multiple fields. The return data frame is indexed by date, and has fields as columns. To pull historical data for a futures contract we use the super symbol function and specify the relevant fields of the futures contract as arguments to the function. This security object is passed to the data.history method to fetch the historical data. We can use the same super symbol function to fetch historical data for an options contract as illustrated in this example. Another way to fetch historical data is using the request historical data method. Request historical data method. Let us now see the request historical data method. The syntax of the method is shown here. This method returns a Python pandas data frame and comprises of columns, open, high, low, close and volume. The index is Python date time or date. In this example, we pull the daily trades data for Infosys stock for the last 30 days. As can be seen in the output, we have a Python pandas data frame with the relevant fields. That is all for this video lecture. In this video, we saw how to fetch historical data from interactive brokers server. In the next video, we will understand different methods to place order.